Hey guys, you join me here again for another OS install video. I installed Leopard on my G4, Snow Leopard on my MacBook, time to install Leopard on my G5. This is currently running Tiger, let me show you the specs. About this Mac. This run, not Tiger, sorry, it's currently running Panther, sorry. Crikey, that's old. <laughs> Uh, it's a dual processor, 2.5 gigahertz with 4 gigs of RAM. Yes, I do realise I've got the model that's prone to coolant leaks, but um, I'm just I've got my I got my fingers crossed. Okay, sorry if the camera works a bit shaky. I'm gonna press eject. Drivers come out. I hope the drive works. If not, we'll figure out some other way to install it. Close that up. Okay. Can just about hear it spinning the disc, I think. There we have it. It's come up. Okay. Install. Yeah. Hope there's no password. Oh my god, there's a password. Alright, well, it's really easy to get past that, guys. All we have to do is restart from the menu, I believe. And it'll boot from the disk. It should, anyway. Everyone say goodbye to uh, Panther. Nice bong there. Should boot straight from the disk. If not, I'll restart again and uh, we'll see where we go from there. Please, please, please. Crap. Alright, no worries. We're holding down the option key. We should be able to get past this stupid password thing. I can't believe they shipped it to me and set a password. Probably just forgot mine. It's you know it's easy to forget, I guess. Holding down the option key, hoping that it'll bring up a uh, boot menu. Yeah, we'll let it load the disk. There you go. Let's click on the disk, and off we go. Shouldn't ask for our password. Here we go. We got our little Apple Dapple logo. A word that I've never used, and hopefully we'll never use again. Here we go guys, we're um, at the install window. If I'm perfectly honest with you, I'm not quite sure whether that DVD drive is going to make it. Um, it might stuff up on me halfway through the install or something, but there's only one way to find out. Use English, yeah. Hope this DVD drive holds out. Alright, let's install. There we go, it's installing. Let's just see see if it starts off. Calculating the time. We've started off. As you can see, it's installing. Seems to be going okay, touch wood. We're making brilliant progress, guys, with 11 minutes left to go. This Mac is installing it so well, really, really quick. It's awesome. We've got about a minute, guys. This is sweet stuff. <laughs> we got install succeeded. Let's restart. Oh, awesome. I hope we get an intro vid. Here we go. Got the little spinning thing down there. I just missed the bong. <laughs> it just bonged. If you're wondering, uh, I've got a splitter on my speakers and it's coming through these speakers at the moment. Haven't got any specific speakers for it yet. But like I said, this is a temporary setup. Alright, we've got Apple logo. We should boot straight into the intro video. Give me an intro video. Please give me an intro video. Here we go, here we go. Grey screen. What have we got? Ha <laughs> ha!
awesome stuff, guys. I'm going to enter all of these details, and uh, I'll join you back at the desktop in a minute. Oh, awesome. I'm United Kingdom. Yeah! British! Ah. Oh. Do not transfer my information now. Continue. Apple ID, password. Alright guys, I'll enter all this awesome stuff. See you in a bit. Alright guys, I've entered it all. It says thank you. Let's, uh, let's go. Here we go. Leopard wallpaper. Leopard menu bar. Leopard dock. Let's go and change this resolution, guys. So I've got my resolution sorted. And it's looking pretty good to me. Time to get iLife on here. Not that I'll be using iLife that much. But it's just... You know, you can't have a Mac without iLife, can you? I'll be using iDVD and iWeb on this machine. Okay, let's wait for that to spin up. There we go, iLife. We'll install it. Continue. Want to install it. It wants me to enter my password. Two minutes. Here we go, guys. We're just installing iLife. So, install succeeded. I mean, it went without a hitch, guys. It was really good. Um, as you can see in the dock, we've got all the apps there. And if we open the app stack, you can see that they're all in there as well. Very nice stuff, guys. Okay, let's, so let's eject that. This has been my install of OS X Leopard and iLife 08 onto my brand new Power Mac G5. 2.5 gigahertz with 4 gigs of RAM. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Full specs will be in the video description.